And for more on this, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, is joining us now. Dr. Nandi, infected children, they're experiencing fevers, vomiting. Is this the same kind of illness as flu viruses? Yeah, it certainly sounds like it, Brian, but no, Haemophilus influenza does not cause the flu and actually has nothing to do with influenza virus. Haemophilus influenza, also called H influenza, is a type of bacteria. There are six distinct types, and these bacteria live in people's nose and throat. From the most part, they usually cause no harm, but infections can happen when the bacteria move to other parts of the body. For instance, H influenza is a common cause of ear infections in young kids and bronchitis in adults. But some H influenza infections are invasive. What that means is that the bacteria has invaded parts of the body where they're not usually found. For instance, if the bacteria gets in the bloodstream, for example, it can cause bacteremia, or if it gets into the fluid in the spine or brain, it can cause meningitis. Uh, this can also cause pneumonia, a skin infection called cellulitis and epiglottitis, which is swelling of the throat. Unfortunately, in phase of disease can be extremely serious, sometimes result in death. And those most at risk are kids, children younger than five years of age and adults 65 years of age or older who are immunocompromised. All right, so what so many people want to know, is there a treatment and what about preventative measures? Yeah, important questions, right? So definitely treatment is available. Depends on what type of infection. Usually antibiotics are prescribed, but some H influenza, H influenza are resistant to them. If people are really sick, they may need to be hospitalized, given breathing support and intravenous steroids. As for vaccines, Brian, people are most familiar with H influenza, H influenza type B or Hib, uh, and you can protect your child. Is there a vaccine for HIV, and there are three to four doses, and the CDC recommends that all kids younger than two get the vaccine. Now, the vaccine does not prevent infections caused by other types of H influenza, so it's important, as we talked about, to have your child wash their hands often, keep them away from those who are sick, and now health officials recommend, very important, that parents watch their kids for symptoms like this, fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, and stomach pain to seek medical care if their child is sick and between the ages of four and seven. However, if any child is lethargic or if you're concerned for any reason, we talk to your pediatrician, take them to the ER. And the important thing, Brian, is that get them there early, right? You don't want to sit around and think, oh, it could be this or that. We're in a stage where, you know, if you think that your child is really sick, get them there. Get them the help they need. And hopefully this all gets corralled and, and over with soon for those We kids. talked about vaccines, right? Please keep up with them. Don't think that there's this whole movement with the COVID vaccines that we don't need to do our regular vaccines. You really need to and protect our kids. That's how we get through it. All right, Dr. Nandy, grateful as always for your expertise. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. If you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.